Isabella Friedman holds hearts. It is a place where people have gone for refuge, for retreat, for restoration. It is the single most important place in my personal and professional journey. Waking up in the morning, the mist on the lake, the promise, the potential of the day. Isabel Friedman has completely transformed how I connect Jewishly. What's so powerful and unique about Isabel Friedman is it's not just a destination where you sleep and eat. It really is a holistic vision of what it means to have a Jewish community. It has provided thousands and thousands of people with transformative experiences that have then changed their lives and the lives of all of those who are connected to them. Isabella Friedman is on the cutting edge of responding to the most serious challenge facing American Jewish life. It is the center place, the makom, for Jewish environmental education, Jewish environmental living, Jewish environmental learning, providing a way for people to come together to put their hands both in the ground and to the heavens and connect them. Isabella Friedman as an institution is 120 years old. It's been on its present site for more than 60 years. Even in its current incarnation, just in the last 15 or 20 years, it's an incredibly profound place. And it's more than just the individual impact. We have 6,000 people a year, more than 20,000 kids who've been through Teva. But we host more than 50 institutional retreats a year. That's thickening community, supporting organizational change, incredibly critical. In a 24-7 world, we need a lot more institutional retreats, and we're here to do that. That it is exclusively a Jewish retreat center, that the food is both kosher, local, and sustainable, that there is both an Eruv and space for people to practice however it is that they want to practice. People fall in love there, they get married there, they have an incredibly deep emotional attachment to the place. Our programming has just got stronger and stronger as every year goes by. So Friedman is an amazing resource for the Jewish community, on the one hand, and on the other hand it's just falling down. Rooms need fixing up, buildings need fixing up, we need to invest in the infrastructure because if you want to keep that sense of spirit alive, you have to be sure that the physical plant is sustaining the spirit. Jewish tradition says that every strong spirit needs a strong body. The body of Isabella Friedman is its campus and its buildings. Those structures need to be at their utmost in order to hold all of the transformation that happens. We've got an amazing master plan. We had outside consultants and architects. We had staff people, volunteers, lay leaders. The master plan gives us a vision for what this place could be. We just need money to get there. And if we can do this, it is gonna have such an incredible impact for the next two or three generations. We need to invest in the infrastructure of Isabella Friedman so that it continues to do its work. Every investment in Isabella Friedman is an investment in the future of Jewish life. Taking on climate change, environmental sustainability, the need for sustainable food systems, we have to have a place that shows us what that can look like, living Jewishly and sustainably in the 21st century. That's what this place brings to life. That's why we've got to rebuild Isabella Friedman. There are some places that do some of the things that this place does, but there are no other places that do all of the things that Isabella Friedman does. This place is unique, and it's having a unique and far-reaching impact on the American Jewish community and in the wider world. We've only begun to scratch the surface of what could really happen at that place. Join in this crusade to renew, rebuild, and make it a place for the 21st century. Mm -hmm.